Hello and uh, thank you for watching. We would like to introduce ourselves. We are Kulana. We are a Rwanda and US based company that provides digital open banking solutions. We are here to present ourselves as a team and explain to you the value that we deliver to our customers, as well as to grow Kulana together. My name is Christian Rumer and I am the co-founder and CEO of the company. With me, I have a group of colleagues from the office here in Kigali who would like to introduce themselves. My name is Zuyan Bivron. I'm an implementation and training specialist at Kulana. I've joined Kulana in November 2022. Hello, I'm Natasha Wamohorondijesi. I joined Kulana in 2020 and I'm a senior implementation and training specialist. Hello, my name is Aradivi Nichirezi. I am an implementation and training specialist at Kulana. I joined the company May 2022. Hello, my name is Greta Rutamo. I am an implementation and training specialist at Kulana. I joined Kulana in November 2022. Hi, my name is Daniel Ishimwe. I am the head of sales and business development. I joined Kulana in November 2022. As a team, we have over 50 years of combined experience in financial services, working with banks and financial institutions, advising over 100 of them in the areas of risk management, SME lending and investments. We combine this with an experienced team of experts who have developed our own proprietary low-code platform, which is the core of our technology. We understand financial services well, and we can help financial service providers with their digitalization efforts. But we have more than software. We are a solution provider with significant local knowledge and an agile mindset. Where do we come from? How did we come up with the idea for Kulana? Over the past decade, the fintech industry disrupted parts of the business of traditional financial institutions. Structural weaknesses were exposed. These institutions were stuck with their inefficiencies, were scared about the competition from fintechs, and in that context neglected often their core business, their strengths and their customer relations. Technology such as the one that Kulana provides is now necessary to help institutions going beyond the improvement of efficiencies and cost savings. It is actually the focus on customer centricity that is important in the future. Our digital platform provides that. In addition to that, we are focusing on risk sensitive assessment of client relationships, as well as on sustainable finance, which is basically the core business for the next decades. As we are addressing these challenges, we developed our business model as a combination of technology and skills. At the core of our technology, you find our proprietary low-code platform on which we have developed our open banking solution. We combine this with a long catalogue of skills in financial services and development. So what does this mean in a clear language? Imagine a parent and your child asks for a toy. This time, it is an aeroplane. What the parents does, you go to the shop, get a toy, but then the next month, the wish changes. This time, the child needs a car. What do you do? You go back to the shop and buy a second toy. Imagine, instead of going to the shop and buy every toy the child requests for, this time you go to the shop and buy a box of Lego bricks. Every time a child needs a new toy, you can teach them how to develop their own toys. This cuts costs, and it also helps the child to be more creative. With low-code platform, it's not different. Low-code is like a box of Lego bricks. No matter what type of toy you want, you can build it out of Lego. That gives you the flexibility to develop any toy you want. On top of that, you have Kulana's experience because we know how financial products and services work. We can apply them. As Christian explained in his introduction, uh, we see a successful business model for a financial institution to have three main factors at its core. That is customer centricity, risk sensitivity, and sustainability. So keeping that in mind, together with the technology, we've derived three different products that are all served within our same platform. Our first product is an open banking platform. Uh, for this one, we target medium and larger banks. It allows you to create your own digital financial ecosystem. 
Um, so the concept is that of co-development, meaning that we invite our clients, business and IT teams to work together in order to build a long-term uh, relationship to allow them to expand and grow. We also have a digital lending solution, which is a cloud-based standardized application that allows for fast deployment. So we see this as an interest solution, for example, for microfinance and smaller service providers who want to use it to start offering new products or revamping their usual products. We also have an asset management solution which targets fund managers who handle private debt and equity transactions and who originate their assets. We are also currently working on new ideas like an SME lending fund. Yeah, along with the technology, Kilana provides advisory services on topics such as digitization strategy, credit scoring, credit rating tools design, fund valuation under IFRS, bank risk analysis, bank risk management, credit portfolio valuation, and many more. In addition, Kilana will soon provide investment advisory services. Just to give you a glimpse of a local platform which evolving over time it is based on non-service architecture, uh, so what you know as a buzzword like API or microservices, it's what we have. We allow what we call single click development to accelerate the process and we are compliant with all security standards and conduct pressure uh, automated testing. We are also open to interacting with other systems through the APIs. Above all, we train our clients on how to use the platform so that they could engage in developing and also evolving of their services. Assessing and managing risks is a core functionality of financial institutions. Here, the knowledge and experience that they gained in dealing with customers is an often underestimated skill. Financial institutions need to use the qualitative and quantitative information that they gain in the relationships to improve the risk assessment. In addition, we also talk about ESG risks and the idea that the assessment of the ESG factors becomes a critical component of risk management in the future. Successful risk management also integrates with continuous analysis and monitoring of exposures. And at the end, finally, once the risks are assessed and quantified, the idea is to share the risks with other participants who might have a stronger capital base than the financial institutions themselves. We would like to expand our gratitude to the ongoing support of our clients, who are BK, Bank of Kigali, the largest commercial bank in Rwanda. We have BRD, Development Bank of Rwanda. We have ABC Fund, it's a Luxembourg and Nairobi-based impact fund for agriculture. We have CF Square based in New York. It's a startup fund. And last but not least, we have ECDC and CEFA, two government sponsored SME lenders based in South Africa. Allow me to present you our team. Aside from the people you'll see in the video, we have Karen Hazan, our chief operation. We have Ram and Mahesh. They are part of our development team in India. And Theonest, who support us with risk advisory. Training and the on-job learning is an essential part of our culture here in Kulana and we strive to grow as individuals and as a team. We certainly plan to expand in the future here in Rwanda and other places. We have jointly developed our values and we know that our diversity is our strength. Great, so you got to know the team of Kulana and you learned what we are all about. Now let's talk about how we can collaborate in the future. We're looking for partners who can help us developing the SME Lending Fund and the ESG Risk Management Portal, which are two key projects for the remainder of the year 2023. We also started our fundraising efforts and we're looking for investors who share our vision and would like to accompany us in our growth plan. And finally, we're always looking for partners and clients and here we see how we can collaborate in the future, how we can grow together and how we can support you in your digitalization efforts.